Hey everyone, it's Joe Isaiah here from The Automator, and uh, this cool tool today is going to be really, really helpful for getting a path to a file and whatever in a lot of different programs. So um, let's go ahead and demonstrate it real quickly before we get into the code. So once right. you launch it, um, you can choose a hotkey, which is really cool. But what, right. what's cool is if you're in Word, like let's say Word, Word, which is why we came up with this tool in the first place, because Word and Excel, it got to the, the point getting a path to a current file is not easy. Right, right now it just tells you the name of the file, it doesn't tell you where the heck it is. And you have to yeah, really maneuver a lot just to get to it. So now with the hotkey that I just created, I press on it and not only it shows you where it is, but it also copies that into the clipboard. So basically I could just come anywhere else and just paste it, right? So it is a very cool um, thing that now I just, Press a hotkey, I get the location. But the cool thing, as you mentioned, is that it works in other tools as well. Yeah. Um, a lot of tools. yeah. The most common ones that we, we typically use, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, even VLC. Uh, a lot of editors, so VS Code. Once you, like Site, you have Site open, right? Yeah, I do. So I have it here. For example, this file, yeah, Life Code, where? So I just go ahead and do all, Windows C in my case, because that's what I created as a hotkey few seconds ago, but and it gives me the full path to the file. So it kind of like rips it out. It's the same hotkey. It doesn't matter what program, it just grabs the and this is the cool thing. Um, even in Explorer, you can do the same. So you just select a file or, or files. Do your thing. Or files, by the way. So yeah, it just gets the path to them perfectly fine, right? Dual. That's great, right? Uh, let's um, see show like in a, a browser, the interesting things we built into a browser. Right, so this one is a cool one because if you select some text in here, um, or if you're just on a website like this, you just press Windows C. Um, you press and, your hotkey. <laughs> right, yeah. So basically what it did is that it copied the URL. So basically when I, so hold on. But yeah, if you have word open. Windows C is trying to connect to the browser copies the thing in here, right? Um, but interestingly enough, and so, so it just copies the URL of where you are. But if you select text that contains hold links. On, hold, and, hold on, just, yeah, just pick like acknowledgements. The word acknowledgements, okay, yeah. so here. This is how I use it, right, in the newsletter. All right, so I try that, but it does two things. It grabs the word acknowledgements, but it also links to the website that you were in. Go to Word. Yeah, let's go to Word. Now, when you paste it, it's a pretty right. hyperlink. With the right. Uh, it's, uh, it's a, you know, when I want to, when I, like, especially like in YouTube, right, where I'm like, oh, here's this video I want to share in the newsletter. I can just select something, and then it'll get the link, that the page, the, that URL. And, and the word that I just selected and yeah. then kind of like has them both. Okay, so right. here. Uh, or yeah. all okay, the, I get it. the the news you can use kind of stuff, the the what I'm reading this week. I'll select right. the title and hit it, and, uh, and bam, I don't have to go build all this stuff. It just saves me a ton. Right, of I understand, yeah. Okay, now, cool. Pull up your toolkit, because here's the all the interesting one. If you're in an auto hotkey script right. and you hit it, it will give you the path of that script. To the script. That's a yeah. good one. Of, yeah. of a, so if, if it, it is a, not a hotkey GUI, right? Okay, I get it. Yeah, that's a cool one. <laughs> that doesn't yeah. matter where. So it's great because if you need to edit this really quickly or do something like, you know, specific with the path or share it, uh, you just open the program, hit your hotkey, boop, already there. Uh, great, great oh, tool. There's one more. Okay, so why don't you try Notepad? All right, so let's go ahead and look up Notepad right here. Um, let's open up the dialog here. And um, if I'm, where, what should I do? Should I select the file or yeah, just select the press? file there? Yeah. All right, and then I just do this. Whoops, there it goes. It copied the desktop of, well, the desktop file that I had selected. Yeah, it's the, file, path the file you had selected there. So if right. you open or a okay. save dialog, you can select it from there as well, which right. again, awesome. that one's going to come up a lot, but, no, but it does. Why not? Yeah. 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 Definitely. I do agree with that. So I could have opened it from here too. <laughs> yeah. There it goes. Awesome. 
So it, it is a great tool. And, and the cool thing is, I've seen this, for example, in Windows 11, you do have the copy as path shortcut right here, right? right. But um, that's the hotkey that works only in Explorer. In VS Code, you do have a hotkey that is not usually the same. This is a totally different hotkey. But after that, I don't know of many other programs that have a way to get the path to the file. So just Explorer and VS Code are the only two that I know of. But this tool makes it available to anywhere in, in many programs. I mean, yeah, and and actually, if you're in Grepwin, um, it'll right. also okay. a list of files. You can select them from there, and it will grab it as well, which is cool. But that right. one does have. They have a, a actually. They don't have a hotkey. You could right click on the files and select it and say copy as path. But ours right. again, the hot. You just hit the same hotkey, right? So you don't have to think. Right. Same as Total Commander, WinSCP, you know, SCP, like there's a... That's an FTP protocol tool, right? It'll give you the path on your website to the file. Oh, the, the server one. Okay, yeah, cool. Right. Awesome. Yeah. So basically, I, I really like the tool. I think I'm going to yeah, You're gonna go always down have it running. <laughs> no, we're going to have it always running. This is the same with ClipShare. Now I'm, I have ClipShare always running because wow. it is a very, very uh, cool tool to have there for us to share our clipboard. Um, but this one in particular is great because I need the file paths very often. We use them a lot. And I, I'm very, very limited in where I can do it. This tool allows you to go ahead and have the same hotkey in multiple places and have it working. Yeah, and during the hero call today, was it Connie? No, it wasn't Connie, it was someone else. But they were talking about remembering the the a different way to pull up. Um, oh yeah, uh, Anthony was asking about having a hotkey for doing certain things and having to, having to remember what program I'm in and what website I'm on to do a different thing. And we were showing him how to basically have a context sensitive kind of approach hotkey, where you right. don't have to remember. You let the program remember for you, so to that speak. That is correct. So. That's what we're doing with this is we've programmed one hotkey. You choose the hotkey and it will figure right. out what program it's in and go get the path. So which um, by the ahead. way, if 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 you're running the tool and you right click on it, you can tell what the current hotkey is if you forgot. <laughs> and you can also reset it to something else if you want at any point. You hit apply. Now that's your new hotkey. So keep in mind that uh, you have that tool there and it always tells you. What the current hotkey is. So, if you, in case you forget, just right click and you can take a look at the current hotkey. The key. gap is the get active path. We have nothing to do with gap, the store. But... <laughs> yeah, the <that's> store. <true. laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please like the video if you learned something. Go grab the script if you're interested. Uh, if you, if you want to donate, we, we always appreciate donations when you're checking out because we spend a good you know 20 hours probably on this tool. Like it, things add up. It, you think it's simple, and then we keep adding to it and it takes time. <laughs> yeah, so. that's true. All right, cheers. All right, guys. Bye.